Hello, welcome to the home of train room, Gary from Detroit, Michigan. Today we're going to have Lionel Line Steam Engine 8062 and Lionel Milk Can Car. We are using DCS, Digital Command System, Lionel Z Transformer for Power, and TIU Track Interface by Mike's Train House. Hi, I would encourage you guys to uh, subscribe to Classic Toy Trains or get at your local hobby shop. I would encourage you guys also to subscribe to All Gauge Railroading or get at your local hobby shop. Hey, welcome rail fans. Today we're going to run a Lionel Lines engine using the DCS system by Mike's. And here is their scroll bar where you can scroll through your directory of engines. And I'm going to put it on Lionel Lines and just hit the wheel and that should give us over to the line L engine. Pull back this so you can see what's going on. This is the milk platform and we're going to bring the train around to line up the milk car with the platform. Can I have another count on that plate? Bring it forward. Got a good alignment on this. All right, the milk car is aligned and it will hit the remote control and uh, knock off four or five milk cans. One thing about it, it's not very scale, it goes kind of fast. Watch the guy jump out. There's one can, two cans, three cans, four cans, five, six. Seven, seven cans total. On top of the box car is a roof that comes open, a panel, and we're going to reach in here and then grab the milk cans. And basically, it's a regular shaped milk can. They go into the roof, to the top of the can, to the top of the roof of the box car, and these little things have slots here and it's almost impossible to put them upside down so we'll dig them all out of here put the cans back in and I hope that one's going the wrong way, no, I hope that one's right 
just a matter of getting them all back in there. Right now, I'm waiting for the conductor signal so they can pull out. We now have all the cans back in. We unloaded them, put a, put a fresh uh, crew of milk on the milk catch stand, put the empties back in the uh, box car, and away we go. So now it's a matter of just pulling out of here. And hopefully, we can do that at a slow speed. Getting the uh, whistle sound from the train engineer, the valve. The duck is giving a signal. And we are now pulling out. kind of cool. It also has a working man in the back carrying a lantern. But now he's got his lantern turned off and if we zoom in here we should be able to pick him up. He gives a signal to the conductor. Right now he's telling the conductor to wait. The train cannot pull out until the conductor swings out that lantern. So we're on a standstill. We are now waiting on the conductor and the uh, line out caboose to give his signal for the engineer to take off. He's now up front waiting. And there we go, we got the light on. Signal back to the conductor. And we should be able to pull out of here. The, conduct to check that out. the conductor has given a signal for us to leave.